everyone, my name is Jade and today I'm going to be telling you what I got for my 24th birthday which was a few weeks ago now and I keep wanting to say 21st birthday which I'm not even close, it's not like I'm trying to say 23rd but yeah I guess I'm in denial a little bit. Um, but this birthday I got loads of really thoughtful presents that were centered around veganism or minimalism and positive thinking. So I thought this could act as kind of like a gift guide if you have a vegan in your life and you just don't know what to get them or someone who's interested in minimalism or positive thinking. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is an experience gift and this is obviously particularly great for a minimalist as it's not another physical thing because if you're trying to become minimalist or you are a minimalist you probably don't want any excess possessions that you don't need if you're trying to already cut down on what you have but I think this is a great present for anyone. I've always loved experience gifts as it means you get to spend quality time with the person who got it for you and just create memories and do something really fun together. So this birthday, my mum surprised me with afternoon tea at the Seaside Cake Parlour in Margate, which is an entirely vegan cafe, and it was Harry Potter themed, and it was so cute. Um, I actually vlogged a what I eat in a day on my birthday, so I'll link that video if you'd like to check that out, because that shows more of what was kind of there. But it was amazing. Um, yeah, I loved it. If you have a chance to visit Seaside's Cake Parlour, definitely do. It is the coolest place and I love the Harry Potter theme. I've always been obsessed with Harry Potter. I think, I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I genuinely thought I was a witch when I was younger. And when I didn't get into Hogwarts, I was genuinely devastated. I really thought my letter was going to come. And it didn't, oh that was cute as well, my mum um, at the afternoon tea she made like a little um, letter to like give me an invitation to Hogwarts and it was like tea stained, it was super cute. So yeah, that was a really thoughtful present, I really enjoyed it, the food was amazing, it was great to spend quality time with my mum, so that was a great present. And every year on our birthdays my friend Maria and I don't buy each other presents, we kind of, we started this tradition a few years ago, I don't even remember how, but we always buy each other an experience present and usually surprise each other. So Maria's taken me to afternoon tea before, I've taken her to a goat sanctuary, um, they're always like veggie, vegan, animal themed I think, oh no we have ridden forest bikes, but that was after the vegan afternoon tea. So yeah, they're normally centered around food, which we love, and animals, because we love animals. But it's just such a nice tradition, and I love that we do that. And yeah, I often prefer to have an experienced present than a physical present, unless it's something that you really want, or is food, because I love food. So I guess that brings me on to the next thing, um, or things that I got. So every year on our birthdays, Matt and I always get each other just a bunch of vegan snacks. I think this first started when we went vegan, and it's obviously a little bit harder to find great vegan snacks in normal shops. So yeah, we will buy each other. I think I started off by getting him this huge box and then just filling it with like crisps and chocolate and vegan gummy sweets and just, yeah, all things vegan. And yeah, he absolutely loved it. It was really cute. And then I was like, oh, I'll just refill it for you every year or every Christmas birthday, whatever, after that. And then I forgot, so on Christmas I filled it with bananas and that was kind of lame. But yeah, I really like that idea. So this year Matt got me a lot of snacks including these choices, Oh, you can't really see. Okay, these choices um, caramel chocolates, these are my favourite, are they my favourite? They're definitely my like top three um, chocolate, I absolutely love them. And I had about five boxes and this is all that's left and there's like two left in there. So yeah, that's how much I like them. My birthday was only a few weeks ago. He also got me um, Vigo bars. If you've ever had a Vigo bar, you'll understand why that only lasted a couple of days. I tried to save it for this video, but yeah, it was impossible. They are amazing. And then he got me some like chewy sweets, just basically loads of vegan snacks. Then my cousin, Paul, was so thoughtful and he got me this. I've never heard of this before, but it's called The Goodness Project. And it's just a whole box full of vegan snacks. How amazing is that? Um, so I'll show you some of the things that are in here. Oh, Pops, did you like the look of these? Anyway, so there were these corn peanut crisps. And I've opened these, they're good. I'm not a huge fan of peanuts, but I did actually really like these. So now that I've filmed this video, I've probably finished these this afternoon. 
there was um, a choco cookie bar. This is probably in my top three chocolate as well. Yeah, this, Choices and Vigo. Oh, Vigo. There was a Vigo bar in here, obviously, that also went to. Um, but yeah, these are amazing. There's probably only about half of this left because I ate it last night. I just couldn't hold it up for one more day. And then there's this, ooh, chocolate chip oat bar by Free. I haven't tried these before, so that's exciting. These Biona Organic Pomegranate Hearts. Oh my goodness. These are amazing. I absolutely love these. They used to do them in the health food store where I went to uni in Exeter. And I loved them. They're quite expensive, or at least they were in the health food store, but I didn't care because they were so good. Um, there's quite a lot of bits in here. So there's this Get Fruity Radiant Raspberry Bar, which I'm excited to try. Raw Cacao Creative Nature Superfoods Chocolate Bar. I literally don't need to buy myself any snacks for like, I guess a normal person would say a month, but I'm gonna say a week because I eat a lot of vegan snacks. What is this? Ooh la la tea biscuits, chocolate hazelnut. Mm, I love chocolate and hazelnut by Rhythm 108. This is really cool. A lot of these brands I haven't heard of, so it's really great to get to try new things because who knows, it might become my new favourite thing. Ooh, these sound good. Sour cream and onion cashews. Very nice, by Quibbles. Then there's Beyond Dark Moments of Pleasure chocolate. Sorry, my ring light, oh no. Poppy gets really protective over food. Not that she wants to eat it, but she knows that dogs aren't allowed to eat like human food. So if the other dogs go anywhere near shopping bags, she'll just really tell them off. And Kitty's sitting next to the food and she is growling at Kitty. Oh, it's all right, Pete. It's okay. I'll put them behind me. It's okay. Oh God, I'm gonna start a dog fight. Then there's this very dark Montezuma's dark organic chocolate, which looks really nice. Uh, oh, a Trek bar. I love Trek. Cacao Chaos. I don't think I've tried this one before, but Trek are amazing. I love their chocolate and coconut ones. And then, oh, I have seen this chocolate before. Vivani. I don't recognise that name though. Um, Erda Beer Waffle Crunch. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat that as soon as this video is finished filming. So let's get this done then. <laughs> so yeah, that was a really thoughtful present from my cousin. He also got me a soy wax candle, which was so nice. He was just super thoughtful. And yeah, I can't wait to eat the rest of those chocolates and sweets. The next thing that Matt got me, which I thought was so thoughtful and I absolutely loved, was a sponsorship of an elephant that I met when I volunteered at Elephant Nature Park in Thailand. So he got me like a little certificate thing and framed it and he sponsored the elephant Jokia and he texted Maria and just sent her like a list of the elephant's names that you could sponsor I think and was like did you guys meet any of these um, because I volunteered with Maria and she told him about Jokia and Jokia has an incredible story if you go to the Elephant Nature Park page you can read all about it but yeah, this was such a thoughtful present and I absolutely love when someone sponsors like an animal or donates to one of your favourite charities as a gift because, you know, when you're an adult, if you generally want something, you can buy it for yourself. So it's really hard to think of something you need, but doing something for one of your favourite charities and really making a difference is definitely one of the best presents that I could ever think of. So if you're kind of stuck for what to get someone and you know they feel really strongly or really passionately about a certain cause or a certain charity, I would say making a donation in their name or doing a sponsorship is definitely an amazing gift. The next gifts are probably the only things that I actually asked for this year and they were books because there were quite a few specific books that I really wanted to read and they mainly centred around positive thinking and minimalism because they're two things that I really want to kind of expand my knowledge on. So the first book is called Big Magic and I'd heard a lot of really good things about this book and I'm really excited to read it. So my mum got me that. Then she also got me, which I didn't ask for, but I'm really excited because I love Anthony Robbins. So she got me the Anthony Robbins Unlimited Power book. So I listened to the audio book of, I think it's Unleash the Giant Within. I think it's like one of his early ones. And whenever I'm feeling a bit like, demotivated and in a bit of a funk I always listen to that and it really like 
kicks me up the butt and gets me like into action setting goals really kind of designing more of like a strategic future rather than just kind of going with the flow and letting things happen and I feel like I've really needed that lately so I listened to that recently and I'm really excited to read this book and she also got me this audio book of the power to shape your destiny again by Anthony Robbins so I might start listening to this today actually because a lot of my favourite podcasts I'm either caught up to date or they're on a break. So anyway, I'm really excited to start listening to this. Then my mum also got me The Secret Gratitude Book. If you have never watched The Secret, watch it. It is life changing. There's also, I think, a book of The Secret. And then this is a kind of journal, I believe. And it kind of, you just write in your gratitude things. Oh. So you write in your gratitude now items and your gratitude intentions and I'm definitely going to start filling this in but yeah if you haven't watched The Secret, seriously it's life changing. I don't want to explain it too much because I'll probably make it sound a bit weird. Whenever I described it to Matt he was always like that sounds like magic and I'm like no it's kind of, I don't know, just watch it, it's great. Then the next book um, pertains to pertains. Oh, that's a big word. Didn't know where that came from. But the next book is about slash pertains to minimalism. And Matt's mum and dad got me this book, and it is the life change, life change, <laughs> life changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo. So if you guys have been watching my minimalism videos, you'll know that I have got really into minimalism. Minimalism, <laughs> such a twister lately and I have been clearing out loads of my stuff and I've been really interested particularly on Marie Kondo's method which is called the KonMari method and it's all about just keeping things that bring you joy and I love her folding method so I'm really excited to read her book and learn more about it. Then the next thing is also a gift from my cousin who got me the snap box and the soy candle so he bought me this vegan Richard's Indian kitchen cookbook which I'm so excited to start cooking. I absolutely love Indian food and I don't really know how to make um, many Indian recipes. So I'm really excited. Matt, when I got this, was like, yes, when can we start cooking some of this? There's so many great things in here. So yeah, I haven't cooked anything yet, but I'm really excited to start cooking some things from here. So the final gift that I want to talk about is something that my cousin Victoria made me and I guess it would have fallen under the kind of thoughtful handmade presents which are some of my favourite presents to receive. I absolutely love when someone's just kind of taken the time to make something that they know you'll love. So yeah, this was what my cousin Victoria got me. She made me a little scrapbook and she knows I obviously love animals. So she just filled it with pictures of loads of different animals. And I think that's so cute. There's loads of dogs and yeah, it's just such a sweet present. I absolutely love it. And a few years ago, my dogs were actually featured in a calendar and I gave one to my cousin and she has included the pictures from that calendar. So there's like my dogs there, Poppy and Kitty, and then all of my dogs um, around the table at Christmas dinner. Um, we always do like a little tradition every Christmas. I take pictures of my dogs sitting at the table set for Christmas dinner. And yeah, they're a big hit on my Facebook page. So yeah, I just think this is such a thoughtful present. So if you don't really know what to get someone, I think making something for them that you know will mean a lot to them or kind of featured around their interest is like such a nice idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it hopefully gave you some ideas of what to buy the vegan or the minimalist in your life. If you have any great gift ideas feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching, bye!